Welcome to the LS Blue Racing YouTube channel. Chances are, if you've clicked on this video, you're here for this Racer's Edge hood or this front bumper. Now we're gonna go over these parts and do a quick review. Uh, I only have the hood and the bumper for the second gen S10. He's got some new products. We're gonna check that out here on the internet. He also makes parts for uh, first gen S10s and G bodies. I think Malibu's, there's, uh, I don't know about the G bodies. I just know S10s. Let's check this stuff out and see what kind of high quality stuff we've got from Racer's Edge. So this is his six inch cow hood. Um, it's made of complete fiberglass. It is a pin on. You don't, it, there's no latch or anything. You have to pin it on with either Zeus rails or these here. Re pins like this. But I prefer the Zeus rails because it's a whole lot cleaner and more secure. Now the front bumper is very nice. It fits very, very snug. There's no clearance issues, as you can see here. You come over here and look. It's pretty lined up. You can kind of adjust it how you want. Um, it is a little flexible to mount, but like I'm giving it quite a bit of a force to do this. Down here, I've only got four bolts holding it on. Very solid. The hood is also very solid. We're gonna take this off and look underneath of it so you can see what it looks like. It's very easy to get off and it's very easy to mount. So let's take it off. If you hear something in the background, it's my four month old. She's helping me today. So these come off very easy. And the hood only weighs, I think he said seven pounds as compared to the 30 something pound steel stock hood. Just like that, it's ready to come off. You don't have to have two people. Let's take this outside because I don't have anywhere to put it. All right, so very easy to get off. I'm trying to just like that. All right, so this is the underside, as you can tell. It's all fiberglass. Here's how the Zeus fasteners fasten in there. They're riveted in. They're not, you know, extremely secure, but there's enough of them where it, it works perfect. Extremely, extremely strong stuff. Well, like I said, the hood is a pin-on, so I use the Motion Race Works Zeus fasteners. They do take a little bit of persuasion to get on, but they work perfect. As you can see, you have to drill some holes. I have mine kind of reinforced with some self-tappers here and there, I think. Yeah, right there. But they work great. That's what I found to be the best. Now, how the front bumper is mounted is very simple. That's for the side brackets, one on each side. And then I am using the two top mounts down there. The grill is kind of hard to take out, but I'm using the top mount here and here. I had to drill my own holes on the top and the sides. Let's look underneath. All right, as you can see, there's the logo. There is no center section. You know, on a, a regular bumper, there is a middle piece. There's the top. There is a middle piece that mounts to that post there. It is not there. To, in my opinion, that's perfectly fine. Let's see if I can turn the camera around so you can see how the sides are. All fiberglass. Those are the only four mounting bolts that I have, and it's... It's solid for fiberglass. The front bumper weighs, I think he said four pounds. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but it's very, very solid. All right, so let's throw the hood back on so you can see how easy it is.
This absolutely does not require two people. It is very lightweight. I think my child weighs more than the hood. Just like that, now you gotta pin it. The best way I've found to pin it, because my front end is not perfectly straight, is to do one side, get, the, get one side center, and then move to the other. What is it, honey? That's how it's done. Done, done, and done. Just like that, the hood is on there and not going anywhere. All right, over on Facebook, this is where you order the parts that you want. You can see the second gen S10 bumpers. He has Sonoma bumpers. Here are the front fenders for the S10s. You can see they are pretty much bolt-ons, just like the hood and the front bumpers. There's also tailgates for step sides and fleet side second gens, and also for the first gens. Now, these are not functional. They pretty much are just for looks basically and there is also some bumpers for first gens and some fenders he has a dash for a first gen and also obviously cow hoods for first gens now if you're curious about how strong this stuff is this hood got blown off in a tornado on the first day of 2022, and it survived with a couple scratches, and that's it. This is not painted. This is how you receive it from Racer's Edge fiberglass composites. This is not painted. It's how you receive it, and excellent quality stuff. But if you're in the market to upgrade your S10, make it look better, make it a little bit lighter weight, Racer's Edge is the best way to go. The products look amazing. Customer service is awesome. I mean, I have absolutely no complaints. Check him out. This isn't a paid video. I just want to showcase some of his amazing products and maybe help you guys out. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, and we'll see you.